of the race for Arkansas's second district congressional seat is now in full swing. The incumbent Congressman French Hill seeking a sixth term in Washington, but he's expected to face a stiff challenge from the retired Army Colonel Marcus Jones. Channel 7's Brenda Lipinski had the chance to speak with both candidates, and she joins us now live in our studio. Brenda, how was it? Well, Chris, you know, I can tell you sitting down with these two native Arkansans, I could tell that they're both really excited to run for this office, hoping to get the approval of those living here in central Arkansas. Two native Arkansans are running for your vote to serve as a representative for Arkansas's second congressional district. First, there's Democratic candidate Marcus Jones, who's a veteran of the U.S. Army. Uh, I grew up in Jonesboro, and uh, but I'm a lifelong Arkansan. Uh, I'm a U of A grad, uh, which, you know, a proud Razorback. And there's Republican candidate Congressman French Hill, who has served in the seat since 2015. You know, I grew up in Little Rock. I went to Catholic High School. I went to uh, Henderson Junior High and Forest Park Elementary. Both having their reasons on why they want to serve. We can do better. We should do better. And, and we should focus on the issues that, that affect people's lives. Health care, our infrastructure, uh, how education is addressed through our federal government how we can you know, look at uh, opportunities uh, that can be brought here uh, that just I just didn't see them being delivered on. I've always believed so strongly in the opportunities that we have in Central Arkansas for jobs, careers, education, medical care, and all those things are influenced by good policy up in Washington, D.C. So I've taken my business experience, my economic experience, my chamber leadership experience, and try to help better policies, create better policies in Washington, D.C. that help us at home create those careers and opportunities for our kids uh, to have a great place to live and work uh, in our hometowns. Looking into things they consider priorities to help the citizens of Arkansas. Like I said, one in five of our kids is food insecure. It is, it's tough for them to learn with an empty belly. Uh, the same issue goes forward when we start to talk about access to health care particularly when we get into the more rural parts of the district. I've been very involved in economic development. One of my goals this year is to complete the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration's moving a key navigation beacon out at Little Rock National Airport, and that will open up a thousand acres for future development and business expansion out at the Little Rock Port. Hoping that Central Arkansans will look into what they will do for the district and go out and vote. Now, of course, there's a lot more to, that these candidates want to focus on. To find out more information about either candidate, you can head to our website, katv.com. On your side, I'm Brenda Lipinski.